Welcome to Construction Review's weekly roundup of the news in the building and construction industry in Africa. We start our news in Tanzania where the government, led by President John Magufuli, has inaugurated the Mwalimu Nyerere Foundation Building, built by China Railway Construction Engineering Group at a cost of $150 million. The 30-story building has a total construction area of 63,000 square meters and is home to a five-star hotel with 256 bedrooms and suites, 7,000 square meters of offices, 2,000 square meters of commercial retail areas and supporting facilities such as conference centers and parking lots. The Chinese will manage the project for 20 years under build, operate and transfer arrangement. Now the government of Malawi has announced plans to construct 10,000 houses in five years for its security agencies. Construction will commence in 2019-2020 fiscal year. Out of the 10,000 houses, Malawi Police Service will get 4,000, Malawi Defense Forces 4,000, and Immigration Department and Malawi Prison will each get 1,000 houses. Phase 1 works will see construction of 4,500 houses. In Uganda, the Nalukolongo sewage treatment plant is set to start operations in the next three years. About six acres of land has already been procured for the project, and in the next two to three years, the plant will be able to drain Rubaga areas of Mutundwe and Kaboa. The plant is one of the long-term sanitation programs for Kampala, stretching to 2033. Lastly, Rwanda has inaugurated the state-of-the-art Adventist School of Medicine for East and Central Africa. Built at a cost of $16 million, President Paul Kagame performed the ceremony and said the facility aims to promote the country's education and health. The newly inaugurated medical school sits on 22 hectares of land. It is designed to become a center of excellence in the region, serving 11 countries including Rwanda, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Uganda, Somalia, Eritrea, South Sudan, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Djibouti. The facility features the Adrian Paul Cooper Science Complex, which will host nine laboratories. And that is all we have this week. Be sure to subscribe below to ensure you don't miss our weekly roundup. And also visit our web portal constructionreviewonline.com for more information and a chance to subscribe to the digital format of our print publication.